Hello friends, it's Vikmail from Vikmail.in. As you know, we have completed our CMS part and we have totally create the CMS and you can use it easily. We have completed all the parts of our CMS and this is the last video about CMS topic. And in this video, I will show you how we can create SEO friendly URLs using CMS. Uh, I want to tell you something that uh, this uh, <clears throat> this demo will not work on my local host. So I will show you the result in my at my server. So for uh, creating this user friendly uh, SEO SEO friendly or user friendly or URL uh, Google friendly search engine friendly you can say URLs so we will create a simple file here that is a dot ht access file it's dot ht a double c e double s dot ht access file and here we will just write some lines here and our cms will go user friendly I will show you how uh, what I am saying user friendly. So just uh, create a dot .htaccess file and write these lines. Rewrite engine Rewrite engine on rewrite base rewrite base cms rewrite condition we used to uh, for condition we use cond cond percent request underscore file name it's exclamation mark directory Let's see. and now another condition so we will just copy it and paste and we'll change for the file okay now here we will write our rule rewrite rule and I'll use this for getting this just shift and number six you will get this I think it's a kind of cap you can see and then star index.php <coughs> id equals to equals to dollar one and here dollar one is for first parameter it's q s a Okay, we'll just save it and uh, as you can see if I run my index.php it will not work this is the normal part what we are already doing so we will just remove this part and we'll do this it's showing error 404 but as I told you, it's working on my server side because sometimes STXS won't work on local host. So on server side, there's no any uh, editing in my code. The same code is there. So just a minute, I'll show you how it's working. I created it earlier, so there is some difference there in look and feel. 
let me tell you this is the main url tutorials.vivikmail.in here on the first box is about create cms using php with seo friendly urls here i'm having this normal the same kind of cms which we are already working and difference is only with the look and feel as you can see our working is going on like this it's in under cms folder if i click on service it shows this is demo service and there is no any id is there you can see like we are doing in our earlier that index.php call comma uh, question mark id equals to contact there is no any index.php because uh, we are calling all the uh, post you can say in our in uh, over our index page so we have just removed the index.php here and re removed the id that uh, that question mark id so uh, if i tell you here then we have removed all this part like this we are doing and if we click on this it won't work in our local host but here it will work services is going on about and everything is working if you need uh, if you want to see that how it is working you can see our tutorial here you can go here view tutorial and this is my blog where i write my tutorials so here is my tutorial for the whole cms which i have created earlier so uh, in this cms also uh, you can see that in the ht access if yeah as you can see this is the same we have done there is no any difference might be a uh, just a minute there is a rate engine is on let me check we write engine but i don't think it will create any no nothing so as you can see everything is working just the point is stxs won't work on my local host that's why i'm not able to show you over my local host that's why I, i'm showing you on my server so as you can see we are using here seo friendly urls and right now in these days google prefer the user friendly or you can say search engine friendly urls so this was the last video regarding the cms hope you enjoyed our cms part in the next video i will show you how you can create a gallery dynamically using your database and in this video or in the next video regarding the gallery i will show you how you can save the image to your database also the whole image in your database no any uh, image icon or no any image in any folder or anything so hope you like this video and we have completed our cms part totally if you have any issues please let me know comment below my video or comment at my blog hope you will see and you will share you will like our video please subscribe there is a red button below the video <coughs> Please subscribe, please share, please like. Thank you for watching.